hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be doing question number seven ingress for practice question ck exam 2025 so we have to create an ingress resource named echo in echo sound namespace expose a deployment with a service named echo service and check the availability of the service using the command below so let's go ahead and verify that we have the deployment so we're going to do k get deploy and specify the namespace so as you can see we have the echo server deployment here with one replica now let's go ahead and expose this deployment so we're going to do k expose deploy name of the deployment so echo server deployment in this case now we have to specify the namespace where the deployment is so it's in echo sound and now the name of the service so we're gonna put name echo service and let's specify the port so in this case the port is 8080 and the target port will be the same thing okay after that we have to specify um the type of the type of this service so in this case will be node port this is very important for the exam so you just put type and node port okay let's go ahead and click enter and as you can see service echo service exposed now we can actually verify that we have the service so let's do k get service um in the echo sound namespace so as you can see we have echo service type is node port and this will be the cluster ip we got the ports here 880 so everything looks fine now let's go ahead and create the ingress resource so we go to the kubernetes documentation page type ingress and we're gonna click on the first one scroll down to the part where you got the jamo file so we're gonna go ahead and copy this yaml file now let's go ahead and paste this yaml file in the vi editor on the killer coder so we're gonna do vi um, let me put this bigger okay so let me do vi ingress dot yaml so okay now we're gonna paste the yaml file that we just copied so so we're gonna start with the name the name of this ingress has to be echo as per the question and after that we're gonna specify the namespace so the namespace of this one has to be echo sound so echo sound so this rewrite target is gonna stay the same ingress class name we're gonna leave this um, as nginx, not nginx example. So let me go ahead and delete the example. So we'll be let me delete this. Okay, so English class name nginx. Um, now this is an important part. So we have to add the host. So we're gonna put here host. Okay, so the host will be example.org org and now here we specify the http okay so the path we're gonna put um just path and the path type gonna be prefix so we're gonna leave it like that uh, let's go down so we have the backend in the service so the service name is the service that we just created so that's gonna be echo service and number of the port is 8080 hey that's done so let's save this now we're gonna apply the yaml file that we just created so it's k apply minus f and as you can see the ingress is created now what we're gonna do is verify that we have everything as per the question so we're gonna start checking that we have the service and then the ingress 
So basically, the Ingress concept lets you map traffic to different backends based on rules that you define via the API. So Ingress can expose HTTP, HTTPS routes from outside the cluster to services within the cluster, okay? What we're gonna do now is get the internal IP for the worker node, in this case is the node 01, so we can test the availability of the service using the command in the question. So we have the internal IP here, so it's 172.30.2.2. So we're gonna put node IP 172, sorry, 172.30.2.2. And after that, we're gonna specify the node port so the node port will be the port that we have on the echo service right here so i'm gonna put node sorry node port it's gonna be 31076 perfect now let's go ahead and copy this command and paste it but for now we have to adjust the the command in the in the cli so we're gonna paste the command here and we're gonna make a few edits here so for example we have to go back um here it says echo so we have to go back and specify that the http is the host so we're gonna do minus h has to be a capler and we're gonna do host here. Okay, perfect. So the host right now is example.org. Let's delete the echo. Okay. Now here we're gonna put the HTTP. And here we're gonna specify the node IP and after that, we have to specify um, the node port, okay? So this way we can check if the service is working. So we put node port here and slash echo. So as you can see, it returns 200, okay? So everything's okay, everything is fine. Perfect, now let's go ahead and clear the screen so let me clear this and if you want to see the service in a yaml file so you can see um how it will look in the exam so we're gonna do k get service in the namespace echo sound minus o yaml so the service has to look like this in the exam so um the policies actually don't matter but the most important thing is the type is node port okay so make sure you create the node port in the exam or whatever service type they tell you and let me clear this and that will be it for this video guys i hope you're having a great weekend and thanks for the support